In a previous video, I asked the question, do we need surge protection in a house? And since uploading that video last year, the requirements around surge protection have changed since the introduction of Amendment 2 of the 18th edition of BSM 671. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the changes in the requirements for surge protection since the introduction of Amendment 2 of the 18th edition. So now, Regulation 443.4.1 says that protection against transient overvoltages shall be provided where the consequence caused by the overvoltage could result in one, serious injury to or loss of human life, two, failure of a safety service, or three, significant financial or data loss. And then it goes on to say, for all other cases, protection against transient overvoltages shall be provided unless the owner of the installation declares it is not required due to any loss or damage being tolerable and they accept the risk of damage to equipment and any consequential loss. So the good news is this is much simpler than it was before. There's no more CRL calculation to do, no more risk assessment to do. It's now just those three specific situations where we definitely need surge protection and in all other cases, unless the client asks us not to install it. And in that situation, that would need to be documented in the electrical certificate to confirm that the client didn't want it. But I think what this means is that we're now going to have to have surge protection as a default unless the client asks us not to install it at all. And there are, of course, those are the situations where we specifically need to install them. And the third example I think is a good one, significant financial or data loss. So if you're ever doing an installation in a data center or a bank or maybe a supermarket or something like that, where the loss of the equipment is going to be such that there would be loss of trading, loss of data or anything like that, that is a specific example where we definitely need surge protection. So I think this change in Amendment 2 of the 18th edition is a really good thing. I think it makes it much clearer. Uh, there's no more calculations to do, no more risk assessments to do. And I think it removes any potential confusion that there used to be uh, because there used to to be an exemption for single unit dwellings where the cost of surge protection was not justified. And I always thought that, that was a, a difficult judgment for us to make because if you think even the cost of replacing electrical goods in a kitchen was probably more than the cost of an SPD. So I think this makes it a lot clearer, removes any potential for confusion. Of course, it does mean though that we're going to have to install surge protection much more. I talk about the changes in Amendment 2 of the 18th edition in more detail in some other videos on my channel, and I'll put a link at the top of the screen. And if you haven't done so already, please click over here to subscribe to my channel.